Hi, welcome to Benzo College. In chapter 5.1, we'll be learning about absolute value and simple equations. So the lear learning objectives for this part of the chapter is to evaluate or simplify expressions involving absolute or what we call modulus functions. And we'll also learn how to solve some simple equations. Okay, so over here I have a list of the properties of modulus functions. I'll just highlight some of the key objectives or sorry the key properties okay so for example in the second case okay let's say we have the modulus of negative 5 okay although negative 5 is a is a negative number okay taking the modulus will mean that it will now become the mod of 5 or simply speaking it will just be positive 5 so simply speaking the modular sign converts any negative number into a positive number okay so next property so let's say i have the modulus of 10 and 10 can be written as 2 times 5 and therefore we can break this down into mod of 2 multiplied to the mod of 5 okay so similar property over here so in the next example let's say i have 10 over 2 okay mod of 10 over 2 this can be broken down to mod of 10 okay over mod of 2 Okay, maybe just a few more properties. So let's say we have 2 to the power of 5, okay, closed modulus. Okay, this can be written as modulus of 2 to the power of 5. Okay, the next few properties will only be, you know, more important in the later part of this chapter. So maybe as of now, I will stop at this portion. Okay, okay let's look at example number 1. Given that the function of x can be written as this modulus of x squared minus 7x plus 4 find the value of fx when x is 3 and when x is 9 okay so let us first find the value of fx when x is 3 so if x is 3 then i can replace my x with 3 and i can simply write f of 3 and this is written as 3 squared minus 7 times 3 plus 4 close modulus okay so if i were to work this out on the calculator Okay, this will give me the modulus of negative 8. Okay, and remember in the previous property, we learned that the modulus sign will convert any negative number to a positive number. So simply speaking, this will become the mod of 8, which is simply just 8. Okay, how about f of 9? Okay, so f of 9, I will replace all the x's with 9. So 7 times 9. Okay, 7 times 9 plus 4 okay close modulus and if you were to work this out in the calculator you will just get the mod of 22 and since 22 is already a positive number my final answer would just be 22 so take note that the modulus sign does not you know do anything special to a positive number it will still remain as a positive number okay move on in exam example number two okay I will you know ask you a small ask of a, a small favor of you okay which is to try pressing these two values okay into your calculator okay so try pressing these two values into your calculator and see what sort of answer you get okay so if you press this in your calculator you will see that the first uh, expression will give you a negative um, value okay sorry seven 2.1.27 okay roughly 1.27 whereas the second value okay will give you approximately negative uh, positive 1.27 okay so meaning to say that over here what you see in the modular sign is a negative value whereas over here what you see is a positive value okay so in the first expression okay over here, when I remove the modular sign, I will just be, I'm just done with the original expression. Whereas in the second expression, since the value is negative, okay, remember the modulus of any negative number will convert it to a positive number. So the second expression will be converted to a positive number, which is just 3 minus root 3. Okay, so for those of you who cannot see this very clearly, okay, this is a negative number. Okay, so this okay, can be written as negative root, sorry, negative 3 
plus negative 3 minus rather root 3 okay and the modular sign will remove the negative sign that you see here so you're just left with this okay which can be written as okay which can be written as this okay so just some extra steps for those of you who don't get it okay let's move on to example three okay so in example three we will be solving some simple equations take note that for the solving of modulus equations okay we will essentially have two expressions okay so what do i mean by this okay so in the first equation we will break it up into two um, portions or rather okay to solve so what do i mean so x minus 2 equals to 7 okay and and okay or rather or okay negative of x minus 2 equals to 7 so i need to say to remove this modular sign i will break the equations into two separate equations to solve okay so in the first equation x is just 9 and in the second equation if i multiply both sides by negative 1 i'll get this and finally x will just be negative 5 okay so in example a my answer would be x is negative 5 or 9 okay so take note once again let me just highlight that to remove the the modular sign i'll have a positive version as well as a negative version of what you see in the modular sign okay so why is this so maybe i just explain a little bit further so recall that the modulus of negative 5 is 5 and the modulus of positive 5 is also 5 okay so therefore therefore if you have the mod of 5 okay it is possible to assume that you have a negative 5 scenario as well as a positive 5 scenario okay so don't worry we'll look at one more example okay to clarify your doubts so in example 3b okay so this equation over here we will first have the positive version so let me just write over here so 2x minus 5 equals to x plus 2 times root 3 minus 3 okay so this is the positive scenario in a negative scenario i'll have negative of 2x minus 5 equals to x plus 2 times the negative version of this okay so the negative version of root 3 minus 3 as we saw in the earlier example is just 3 minus root 3 so i need to say i'm actually multiplying negative 1 throughout this expression of root 3 minus 3 okay and I'll, and I'll get this so now i will perform or rather i will solve these two expressions separately so let me shift this x over to the left hand side of the equation so it becomes 2x minus x and i'll shift the 5 over to the right okay so i'll get this and then if i were to solve this this is just x equals to 11 minus 2 root 3 okay i think that's a there's an error here it should be 11 plus 2 root of 3 okay so this should be a plus yeah okay and then in part b okay what are, i'm sorry in in this second equation over here let me just open up the bracket so i'll get this okay equals to x plus 6 minus 2 3 okay shift all the x to the left hand side of the equation and i'll get this Okay, shift your 5 to the right, I'll get this. Okay, let me simplify a little bit further. Okay, and finally, I'll divide both sides of the equation by negative 3. So I'll get x equals to 1 minus 2 3 over negative 3. Okay, if you want to make it look nicer, you can multiply negative 1, okay, on top and bottom of the equation or rather the fraction to give you to 3 minus 1 over 3 okay so just take note just take note how to open up the modular sign okay when solving an equation okay okay so just to summarize okay for the first part of this chapter the first five laws you see over here are exceptionally important and take note that when you are when you are solving modulus equations to open up the modular sign there will be a negative as well as a positive okay outcome for the equation okay so 
Let me just leave you with some practice questions. You can pause the video here. Again, finally, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. Thank you.